All right, Doe here at ESBR Boxing. Delighted to be joined by former world champion and man running the show tonight, Enzo Macronelli. Um, Enzo, first things first, a really successful show for Bonamine ABC in Swansea tonight. Uh, enjoy that one? Yeah, I did. Um, it's been a bit uh, nerve wracking to get it all together. You know, we have people pulling out and things like that, but it, was, uh, it just went well. Um, massive credit to Rob, Rob Williams and Dougie Desmond, who I've been doing this on my own for so long. Uh, it would be it would have been hard for me to put a show like this on. So they've come on board, they've helped out, and they pretty much made this show up, made this show possible. And what a fantastic show it was! And I've, I was saying to you earlier on, I've walked into some amateur shows, and it's a bit dingy, smells of smoke, that sort of stuff. You walked in here tonight, and it was like a professional show. Boys got the walkout stuff. Is that part of it? You know, making it feel special for them? It was. It was our, it was our first show in 15 years. Um, we went there all the kids, win or lose, we went there and go away with an experience and they did, there's been no trouble here. Um, and it was just a fantastic show. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to get hung up on too much of the details about it, but uh, tonight, you watched your son box out there tonight. Uh, Luca's obviously coming through the ranks. Yeah, oh sorry, you did, you did. I'm getting uh, hung up early. Um, you watched two of your son's box on before. What's it like as a dad? Do you mean like, I know it's an obvious question, it's going to be nervy and stuff like that. Do you sort of switch into coach mode or are you nervous or how do you feel? Um, well, Luke, I'm not so bad because he's a good boxer, he doesn't get hit, uh, he's very clever. Um, with the youngest boy, Romeo, he fights like me, so he, he likes to have a tear up, we can get caught. So I'm a bit nervous with him. Uh, no, I, I, I didn't actually want him to fight, but he's his, he's his own man and um, full of good boy, much bigger than him, put on a hell of performance. Um, Showed, showed how tough he is. He come back, come back at the end of the first round. He said, my contacts got out. So that's one I Come back at the end of the second round. He said, my other contacts got out. So the poor boy was blind for the last round. And, he, you know, he done a hell of a fight. I thought he won. The judges went against him. No complaints. He won a, I want to say he was a robbery, but I did think he won. But it was a good fight. With Luca, um, I can't really say so much because I'd be pulled up in front of the board. But I think it was a... Uh, I, I wouldn't say incompetence, but it was a bit of, how, how would I say it? I think the, the ref, if he said stop, he was too far away. Luca had already landed two shots on his mid-flow for the third shot before he stepped in. So it shouldn't have been a disqualification. And it's just robbed my boy of a great knockout. Yeah, yeah and it was, a, it was a fantastic stoppage. Uh, and unfortunately ruled a disqual no, disqualification. I, I, I know he's my boy and I'm, 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 you know, I love him the bits and stuff like that. He hit the shot, he threw a left hand. Uh, the boy dropped his hands, he was gone, so if the ref was going to jump in, he should have jumped in then. I just watched the video, the ref's the other side of the ring, Luca lands another shot, he's mid-flow in a second shot, and the ref jumps in there. So he's just robbed the boy of a good knocker, which, you know, I, I got that about. Yeah, and you're gutted, and Luca was obviously devastated. Thankfully, he's got the whole gym around him, consoling him and, and stuff like that. But, you know, that's going to knock to him, but what was really telling was about half an hour later on, I saw you chatting to the ref, and there was a handshake and there was a conversation. What did you, you don't have to tell me what exactly you said, but in that moment, how do you go from being, look, annoyed, angry, to composed and back to level-headed? I'm still annoyed, um, but I, I'm not a bully. I know, I know, um, I know sorry, I, I might have a bit of intimidating presence with who I am and things like that with certain people. Uh, so I apologise. You know, I, I should, have, um, should have held my mouth a little bit, but obviously I was in heat at the moment. I did apologise. I don't apologise because I think I was right. Um, I went about it the wrong way. I'm man enough to admit I was, but again, I, I still believe in what I said and I believe what was right. Yeah, absolutely. And we saw a few a few losses on I talked to Connor McIntosh and that video will be online as well now about about losses and how they define you. What's the sort of message for you? You know, you, you did take a loss in your career, obviously a lot more wins than the losses, but how did that help you? How do you put that into the youngsters? The, the loss I took was in my third fight, oh, my fourth fight, sorry. I was jumping a gun, I was knocking everyone out. I got brought down to earth. Uh, and from that moment on, everything changed to me. So you either take a loss and learn from it. And if you don't, it's pointless in boxing. You know, you know, you've got to learn, you've got to, you've got to evaluate things, you've got to show what was right and what was wrong, what you did right, what you did wrong. Uh, you know, all my boys who won the night, they done loads wrong. All the boys who lost, they done loads wrong. So oh, there's my boy right here. He, uh, the first time we've ever been on camera, but like we saw it earlier, I got the for him, we robbed him of a, of a not. But he knows we were going to give him best boxer tonight because we all think he was hard done by. But as a loss, I'm going to go home and speak to him tomorrow. 
he should have done more before that shot landed. I know what he was doing, he was looking for the shot and he, he timed it to perfection. Um, but it's still loads he could have done right. So the boys who lost, they could have done more. The boys who won, they could have done more. So we're all we're all learning. You know, Eli, Eli Walker, um, I thought he I thought he excuse the language, I thought he pissed the fight. Uh, I thought he had a bad last minute of the third round, and that was it. Uh, and, I, and I think the cornerman themselves are just like me. Uh, how they had that like. Yeah, sometimes they know, don't they? I, I spoke to Eli myself. I'm a good friend of Eli, and I, I told him honestly, I thought it was two one. Um, you know, maybe could have given the last round to the other guy. He got a bit ugly in there, but. And the first, the first two rounds with Eli, it was clear Eli. Third round, third round, I probably would have given the boy, but it wasn't one sided. You had an argument, you had an argument for Eli winning the last round as well. But it was like, ciao boy, we're going on with Paul. Ciao Paul. He's, Popular he's, man, you Enzo. One of my future fighters. He's like, he's like, uh, he's like the little kid I never wanted. And the kid you. About doing, sorry, talking about doing slightly more, we talked about the guys that won, the guys that lost, could have done a bit more. Uh, Conor McIntosh fights for the Welsh title again, coming up soon uh, against Nathan Howells. He lost the first time for the title when I got a razor thin decision. What have you now put into a corner that's going to push him over slightly? You've had a bit longer to work together, what's the difference? The, the main thing is the length of time we had together. And the first time, uh, he, he, knew, he knew I was good, he knew I knew what I was talking about, he knew I'd been experienced, but he... He didn't have that trust in me. He didn't have the full trust in me. I understand that because we only been together five weeks. It was sort of a rush job. And he fought well out of his weight class. He looked tiny on the night. When he decided to do what I was telling him, he had massive success. He wobbled the boy. And it turned into one hell of a fight. Now, we worked on a lot of things. Uh, but it's up to him to do it. You know, I can, I can do what, only what I can. It's up to him to take it in the ring. You know, I had, I had all my trainers at me over the years. But when you're in there, you're still going to do it. I see one of my fighters now puffing on a vape over there, and I'm going to kill him on Monday. So he forgot I was near him. He's had it. Uh, talking about other fighters, then, last one for now. We um, Ashley Johnson being here this evening, uh, recently sparring with Shannon Courtney. Uh, by all accounts, did very well. Give a good account of herself. Yes. What did you make of it? Yeah, she did. She's done a very good account of herself. Went up to the, the famous rotunda gym in Liverpool. Uh, Joe McNally, the head coach. Um, I seen Paul Smith there, Liam Smith on the chat, it was nice to see them. And yeah, she done very well you know, for a girl, for a girl who had one boxing fight, she acquitted herself very well. Enzo, I'm gonna let you go because you're a popular man, a lot of people to speak to. Thank you for having us this evening, wonderful show. Thank you, mate, thank you very much.